Virgos, welcome to the channel. I'm the Sad Moon Diva, and today I'm going to be doing you all's weekly sexual tarot. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with these intuitive cards, and then I'm going to finish off with tarot of sexual magic. So, I'm very excited right now. <clears throat> let's see, we're going to pull a couple of these intuitive cards and see what your person has to say what messages do you have for the virgo today please what messages do you have for the virgo today please first message oh we got player energy Next message, December. Hmm, I wonder what's special about December. Next message, ooh, multiple positions. We are already starting off dirty now, aren't we? Next message, yes we are. <laughs> On top, let's go ahead and pull four more and then we will see the one at the bottom and get started. So this next one says, Oceans Apart. Distance yourself. Ooh, somebody needs to distance themselves from this possible player. Next card, Cycle Complete. Wow, yeah. It is like distance yourself from this person. I'm definitely getting that you all had a very intense sexual relationship. And uh, you two live far apart. It could be a long distance situation. And you're needing to distance yourself from this person because they are exhibiting player energy. And they either have a birthday in December or December is when you all ended things. Or something definitely took a turn. Could it be because this person was starting to be flaky with you? And maybe, if possible, uh, you all develop feelings for this person. Mm. Let's see what the card on the bottom has to say. Ooh. Time's up. Okay, yeah. It does not get any clearer than what these cards are saying here. Wow. Yeah, it is definitely saying the time is up and that the cycle is complete. So maybe this is someone that you have been um, considering cutting out of your life, but you're still kind of going back to this person, even though you know that time is up in this situation. But we're going to go ahead and put these cards to the side and see what these sexual tarot cards have. Hey. Please give me some details for the Virgo for this reading, please. Please give me some further details for the Virgo, please. Okay, so the overall for this reading is the Sun card. Okay, um, and what I'm getting is that at some point, this person uh, did mean a lot to you. The two of you may have shared a lot of wonderful experiences in the past. And um, this may be why, if you all are still entertaining this person, this may explain why it is so hard for you guys to walk away. So, with the cards that I have before me, you guys have... You guys have the wheel card in reverse. You have the judgment card in reverse. Okay, you're getting major arcanas here. Okay, you got three major arcanas so far. You got the seven of wands in reverse here. Some of you could be dealing with a uh, Sagittarius. Uh, you do have that December card that could indicate their birthday, as I mentioned earlier. And then you have this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, or this could signify... Um, you in this reading uh, as we go along and you guys have the three of swords in reverse like I said um, there's pretty pretty much all of your cards are reversals you have the uh, seven of cups in reverse here and then you have oh now yeah, yeah that's definitely a lot of love and a lot of good time share with you all because you do have the ace of cups in the upright position okay you all have I, I, I don't know I'm thinking 
let me just let me just go ahead and finish this off first but the last one you have here is the page of cups in reverse okay so um there is definitely a lot of love um that is expressed between the two of you but <sighs> I'm thinking maybe you start, maybe your antenna started going off, okay? You started feeling like something in this situation wasn't right because you have this will in reverse, okay? So there's some type of a, a setback that is taking place right now. Um, this is something, oh, this person calls you to rethink how you were feeling about them. And there's a lot, like I said before, there's a lot of love between the two of you guys. But uh, with this Seven of Cups in reverse, um, there's been like a lot of indecision and I feel like a lot of this comes on your part from what I've seen so far. Um, you're just not trusting this person and there's been just, this has ended up resulting in like some unnecessary arguments between the two of you. Um, definitely a lot of disagreements have taken place. You have this three of swords. So the communication is definitely off. Also, you have this judgment card and this judgment card is in the reverse. And with this judgment card, uh, you got someone in this situation that's running away from their feelings. And I believe that this is your person. I think that this person, um, yeah, I think with this, with this ace of cups and with this wheel card in reverse, this person is running away from their feelings for you. This was something maybe they didn't plan on happening, was developing some uh, feelings in a situation that maybe they considered to be just casual. And um, things have definitely uh, changed a lot for uh, for the two of you. Oh, the seven of wands in reverse. This person is intimidated by you, okay? Yeah, this person is having indecision. Maybe that could be a choice. Um, I don't necessarily feel like it's a choice between you and someone else. It could just be a choice for them to decide whether or not they want to continue having a bachelor life or a bachelorette life where they're single and they're just enjoying themselves or if they want to decide whether or not they want to settle down with you because you also have this uh, night of pentacles okay you also have this knight of pentacles in reverse and they know that they don't need to procrastinate they know they don't need to wait around because at the end of the day um they are afraid that if they don't move if they don't do something about what it is that they're feeling they could possibly lose you and that's not something they want because of course you're getting that ace of cups this person has a lot of love and emotions for you but you also have this sun card here and this is all about these experiences these happy moments this person really truly enjoys spending time with you they enjoy your company and like i said before they know they don't need to procrastinate because they're going to run out of time and if they don't time's going to be up and you're going to move on Wow. Yeah. That's what it is, Virgo. This person is trying to decide. Do they want to let go of a life that they thought they wanted? These issues could have um, came to a um, to a halt. <clears throat> Excuse me. These issues could have came um, and started out maybe in December. Maybe this person, that's when they started to act flaky. That's when you first noticed it. And... See if we have anything else. Oh. And right now it doesn't feel like for the two of you that you're even on the same page. This is why the two of you feel oceans apart. Um, you have been trying to, to decide whether or not to just distance yourself from this person. This is what you've chose to do because of the fact that, you know, they've been so, so flaky that actually the good thing is, is that this cycle is complete. Now, whether or not this person comes back is another question. So, in a sexual romantic sense, this person does have a lot of love and care for you. Very affectionate person. Uh, this person may be somebody that touches you a lot. They like to touch you. They like to lay next to you. They love to make out with you. This is someone that's always finding some way to have some type of a physical connection with you. And um, they don't want to let go. This is just somebody that... They seem distant when they're away from you, but when you're face to face, it's like 
you know, touch me, touch me. There's a lot of um, physical chemistry between the two of you. Um, a lot of attraction. Very, very strong physical and emotional attraction between the two of you. Like I said, this person is very delicate. This person makes you feel very special. And then even though this person, like I said, could be somebody that has this player energy, they give off this type of aura about them that makes you feel like you're the only one. They make you feel special for the time that you're with them. And this is a thing that is so hard to walk away from. And secretly, what you do not know is that not only is this person physically attracted to you, loving to be intimate with you, this person also secretly wants to start a family with you. And if you don't have a family with this person, um, like I said, this is something they secretly desire. But for some of you, you could have a child with this person. But you all are going through this point where um, you're feeling unsure about where to go next in this relationship. This is someone that loves to watch you while you sleep, particularly when you're half-dressed. They just love to look at you, the way that you shape, the way that you move, the noises that you make when you're asleep. And they're just sitting there and they like to just watch you as you, as you rest. <laughs> this is a person that likes the many facets of you. They love the fact that they think that you are, you're hard to figure out. <laughs> it's crazy, but they find you very hard to figure out. Uh, you could be somebody that's very feminine, but you can also get your hands dirty, which is something that they like. And if this is the opposite, where this is a female in this situation, um, they like the fact that you can be masculine, but you can also be very sensitive, okay, when it comes to them. You're able to let your guard down. But, yeah. I, I truly feel that you are offering this person your heart or either they offered their heart to you, but it just wasn't the right time. Something happened that made this person emotionally pull back, either fear or I, I think it's a fear of them feeling like you may not feel the same. A part of it is. For some, this person felt like you may not feel the same. And for the others, they were afraid because they don't want to lose their independence. Yeah, some of you could be dealing with a water sign. Uh, this could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or it could be a Pisces. And also, let's see, definitely a lot of cups here. And could also be a fire sign as well. They could have it heavy in their chart. So, let's see. So it says that the time is up, but is the time really up between the two of you? Please give me a final answer for this reading, please. Please give me a final answer for this reading. Okay, you have the Knight of Swords in reverse. You have the Tower in reverse. And you also have... The Queen of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Something tells me this is a very shallow person that you're dealing with. This is someone that focuses on the outsider, you know, the appearance of somebody, or maybe just getting that high and that thrill from meeting person to person, never really laying down a foundation and having this emotional depth with the person, just giving them just a little bit, but uh, pulling away. Yeah, I can definitely see why you started to feel that this person was flaky. You also have this tower card here, okay? And this tower card is in the reverse. This is somebody that recently went through a tower, maybe the breakdown of their ego from them being such a shallow person. And um, once you all ended this relationship, it kind of changed something in them to where they started to see the errors of their ways. Maybe um, losing you was the realization for them that they needed to get their act together. And then you have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign. This could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or this could be a Libra that you are dealing with. But with this Knight of Swords being in the reverse, this is somebody that is a troublemaker. 
This is somebody you have to be very careful of. This is somebody that is very good with their words. This is somebody that can be emotionally, uh, mentally um, manipulative. I would advise... You know what? I think your intuition is telling you the truth about this person. I really do think your intuition is telling you the truth about this person, okay? Because... Hmm. I'm thinking it's still emotionally tied to another person because you do have this Queen of Cups. Okay, very shallow. Um, this person could be connected to somebody that is a water sign um, that they're dealing with that they can't, oh, that they can't let go of. Okay, and this is a person that, yeah. This person is refusing to change their ways. This person likes the lifestyle that they are living. This is somebody that's a troublemaker because this person has the ability to make you see something that's not there. Plenty of times this person may have come to you and made you feel as if they were single when they are in fact, um, they, if they are single and they're acting as if they're not having other sexual partners, they are lying, they are having other sexual partners. And also they may also have a main chick or male at not, it may not be at home, but that person is definitely somewhere in the picture. And they're basically, basically, time's up with this one. Yeah, time's up. That cycle is ending. You've discovered who this person is. Your intuition is absolutely right about this person. They are who you think they are. And when people show you who they are, believe them. For Virgos, that is all I have for today. If you guys enjoyed this reading and if it resonated, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I'm a Sad Moon Diva and I'll see you guys in another reading. Bye.